We are here in Monaco today, the yachting capital of the world, and we're here to see a very special yacht. Dojo is more than just a yacht. She's a classic fed ship designed by the legendary Vandenberg, and you'll notice the avant-garde lines typically associated with his style. Beyond her fed ship and Bannenberg heritage, what makes Dojo even more remarkable are her two latest refits, especially when you understand the sheer depth and breadth of them, with much of the work actually taking place under the surface. This was not just a skin deep refit, it was more of a rebuild. In 2016, the yacht was lengthened by about 3 metres to her current length of just under 46 metres. The aft section of the yacht where we are now was extended and restyled to improve access to the sea with a large new swim platform and an aft sitting area for lounging around. The teak was replaced, the entire yacht repainted and capping rails sounded down and varnished black to match the interior decor. Since then, the upkeep of the yacht has been absolutely impeccable. The interior style of the yacht is contemporary, blending elegance and comfort. What is especially nice when you enter this yacht is how inviting and comfortable Dojo really is. The main salon features three large sofas and a card table. Further forward, the dining room is used in autumn and winter or for more private meetings and dinners. There is direct access from the dining areas to the main galley on the port side. From the dining area, you have the entrance to the crew area and galley. Down the starboard side is the owner's suite on the main deck, along with a second suite ideal for younger children, security, or maybe where you can put someone who's snoring. Through to the owner's suite now, and as you can see, the owner's suite is very, very spacious and simply stunning, with full Italian marble in the bathroom. Here on the lower deck, there is a large full beam VIP suite and two more guest suites, one with twin beds and one with a double bed. And all of the rooms have en suites, this one with an enormous bathtub. Now we're going to head up to the bridge deck. The Sky Lounge has floor to ceiling windows offering 180 degree views and leads out here to the bridge deck aft with the large round table and sofa. This is arguably the most used area of the yacht. An external deck restyled much like the main deck aft we already saw and like the sun deck which we'll go and see now. The amazing sun deck features a bar and a large sunbathing area with stunning panoramic views. This really is the ultimate spot for relaxing, soaking up the sunshine and socialising. To get a bit more of a technical insight to Dojo and her performance, here's Marco to tell you more. Hi, I'm Marco. I am Chief Officer of Motor Yard Dojo and I've been here for four years this winter. Well, the best thing about Dojo, uh, for me, is to be on a boat with a certain history, with a certain pedigree, and especially because this was the boat that you could see in Monaco not just 10 years ago, but even 30 years ago, 40 years ago this year. And a lot of people look at it and they ask me what year it is. And uh, when they hear it's 1981, can't believe it because of the condition that's in and because of the refit that was done on it. It just brought the boat to, a, in my opinion, to another level and uh, I just enjoy working on a boat that class. 
Uh, one of the most important things that I would like to add in regards to the refit is that the interior was stripped down completely to bare metal. So basically all the installations, all the plumbing, all the cabling, all the ducting for the air, it was all done new from the scratch, including the insulation, thermal and noise insulation. And uh, one piece of history that was preserved on the boat was wood on the side, basically the walls. So they didn't put any type of veneer, but it was original touch wood that's there from the day one. Uh, the boat has been perfectly maintained uh, due to the efforts of the crew who works really hard to achieve this high level of standard. One of the reasons why the boat is in such conditions is also due to the quality of the materials used. They uh, don't deteriorate so fast and they don't fade with the sun, for example. So here we are in the engine room. As you can see, not just the exterior and interior of the boat have been well maintained, but also the engine room itself. And here I'm standing next to the fully rebuilt engines with extremely low working hours. Uh, also, important thing to mention is the three new generators and also the zero speed stabilizers by NIAD, which work impeccably. So not only the guest areas were fully refit, but also the crew area. So full refit of the galley included fully equipped professional chef's kitchen with uh, fully refit electric installations, plumbing. It includes a drinkable water tap and also air extraction to prevent any smells spreading throughout or around the boat. Imagine sitting here sipping your favourite drink and taking in the sights of a destination you've always dreamed of travelling to. Well, maybe it's time to stop dreaming. If you'd like to book a visit or virtual tour on board Dojo, contact Fraser Broker Vasilis Vatilis at yachtsales at fraseryachts.com. To understand the full extent of her rebuild, please contact us to receive the full list of works.